Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. What do we do? You won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be Drew Okay, for a Monday, let's get started. It's time for... Yes! You had a nice weekend. Mine was very restful. Nesting, because Thanksgiving is coming up, and we all were probably careening around town getting last minute crap. <laughs> right? Yes. But my menu is ready, and I'm ready with my Christmas decorations to put up on Thanksgiving night. <laughs> and yeah, no, you gotta stay ahead of the curb. <laughs> but I did get a chance to watch um, or listen at and watch at, you know, listen and watch the American Music Awards last night. Yeah. I say listen at, cause you know, we walk through the room, we watch the TV, then we walk back through the room, we hear stuff, we're not necessarily seeing. Drake was a big winner last night. Thought that was great. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he was nominated for 13 awards, and he won four, including Favorite Rap Hip Hop Artist, <laughs> Favorite Rap Hip Hop Album, and probably Favorite Look for Girls Everywhere. <laughs> that wasn't an award, but I think that people find, don't you find him sexier now than when he first came out? <laughs> like, when he first came out, he was just, you know, Drake. <laughs> from Degrassi. But now he's, but he's almost gone too far with his cool. Like, I didn't like the sunglasses. Yeah. Or, or maybe it's just me. I'm not that cool. <laughs> I can barely walk with lights bright. <laughs> so walking with sunglasses inside, I just, I don't like um, when people wear sunglasses in, inside. I, I don't. I mean, I'm married to one of those. I don't. <laughs> You know, but I know his soul, so I know, you know, you know what I mean? But when you don't know anybody, you always think somebody's hiding something major, like a major <laughs> secret. Like, why are you wearing sunglasses, son? <laughs> it's two o'clock in the club. Why? <laughs> anyway, so um, congratulations, uh, Drake. Princess Purple Rain won for top soundtrack. And his sister, Tyka, who they pronounced Tika, well, she what? Well, this is what happens if your name is not Mary, or <laughs> or Steve, or you know, or 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 Suzanne. <laughs> Although Suzanne, not, that Z and the S get people confused people too. People call me Susan, and I'm not happy about that. No, nope, and I would never call you Susie. Exactly, it's got a Z in it, Suzanne. Yeah, but even worse than both of those, Sue. Sue. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> 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 I like, Su it's Suzanne with a Z. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so Prince's sister, um, Taika, accepted the award, and notice how great she looks. She is ready to battle, battle you, Jay-Z, I'm telling you right now. She took out all that fun, magic, colorful, <laughs> Wonderama hair. <laughs> 
and those glasses. She looked good. She's ready. Go ahead, Tyka. On behalf of Prince, our wonderful friend, teacher, and brother, I humbly accept this award. And me, my brother Omar, my brother Alfred, my sister Sharon, my sister Noreen, and my brother John, <laughs> we'll keep this for you at Paisley Park. Until we see you again, this is for you. In my opinion, she is ready for a court battle with Jay-Z and the whole title situation. This girl is not, she is not what she used to be. You see how a look can change per people's perception of whether you're ready to go to court or not? And some of you all watching TV right now are getting dressed to have your court date about three o'clock this <laughs> afternoon. Now. I'm just saying, you might want to rethink what you're going to wear when you go to court to plead your case. Because judges don't necessarily take kindly to rainbow hair. <laughs> you laugh, madam. But you know exactly what I'm... <laughs> you're so dignified. <laughs> this is the place where you let loose, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, later on, uh, my style squad will be here. Bevy and the crew, Lloyd, Robert, they'll be here to break down the fashion from last night's AMA. Um, okay, so the AMAs are on, but I was flipping, and, and, but still doing stuff at the ha Like, I'm busy. Like, it's Sunday. You get ready for the work week. We talk about this. But I did have a time to slip in a housewife of Atlanta. <laughs> Not the full episode on account of the AMAs were on and I was busy doing stuff in the house, excuse me, preparing for the week. Apparently, well, I saw this part. Okay, Block showed up. <laughs> now, you know when a man is named Block, <laughs> you just assume he's either built like a brick or he comes from the block or a little of both. <laughs> it's Candy's baby's father. This is Riley's father. Yes. Riley has a father, and his name is Block. <laughs> and he showed up last night. And I wish he hadn't. Like, I, <laughs> you know, I kind of, like, if your name is Block, if you're really that Block guy, then you wouldn't be on Housewives, so I question your Blockishness, <laughs> number one. Number two, whatever you have going on with Riley and Candy behind the scenes, for a guy named Block, you should keep that behind the scenes. There's certain people who don't need to be on reality TV, like a guy named Block. <laughs> so Candy's gonna be here on Wednesday. <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm going to save all of my other commentary regarding what I uh, thought I saw going on last night. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> Did you, um... No. Something very serious happened over the weekend. Something very serious happened over the weekend. And I think that we need to discuss this. So if you don't mind, can you just please put down everything and come close, please. Oh. Shout out to all the hair salons. I know you're watching the show. Just put the combs in that blue, um, <laughs> in that blue liquid, the sanitizer. Just put everything in there. Lock the doors, wrap up the clients. Just everybody push forward to the TV. Come on now. Oh. Kanye West went crazy over the weekend. And, and it happened in one of my favorite cities, SAC. Oh. Fremento. <laughs> yeah. Okay, first of all, he's on tour. He's doing a 210 city tour. Okay. 210. He was 90 minutes late to this particular venue. Okay, who do you wait for for 90 minutes? 
do you even wait for your own mom or do you just leave her with the reservations? Like, like, right? You leave her, Suzanne, right? You leave her! You leave her. <laughs> okay, well, um, the, his beehive stayed. Then he got up there, 90 minutes later, he performed two songs. Okay, no, check it out, right? He performed two songs, and then, you know, he went into a long rant discussing his relationship with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh. Now, I'm going to need my co-host to please be quiet. Suzanne, stop with your oohs and ahs. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have subtitles in case somebody peeps up and pipes up, but just understand what he's saying, and then at the end, recognize the sound of a mic dropping. It sounds like this, punk. <laughs> he drops the mic. Walk, walks off the stage, never to be heard from again. Oh. Everybody got their money back. Oh. But that, nope. <laughs> okay, just take a look. Okay, first of all, this is fabulous news for Hot Topics. Because we are your press. We are your press. And so we will have Field Zay. Now, I said it was a 200-city tour. I'm sorry, a 21-city tour. Same difference. Oh. <laughs> But same difference if he's gonna drop the mic after two songs in sack and then talk about Jay-Z and Beyonce. First of all, yeah, you know what? Award shows are ridiculously rigged, you all. I don't know who you think who is winning these awards and who you think you're voting for, and I don't care what they tell you you're voting for. What Kanye is saying right now, this man is going off the reckless rails. This is his umbrella moment. And it's good for our business because he's going to slowly but surely start to release information to you all that some of us have been trying to tell you for years. Yeah. But you'll never believe it. Like, there are a lot of artists who will not show up at award shows unless they know for a fact that they're winning the major award. Yeah. Now, what this man, madman said, will you judge it? Jay-Z and Beyonce, need to have a family meeting with Baby Blue. <laughs> no, you don't have family meetings? In all the busyness in your house? Like, we are, oops, I'm sorry. We're crazed and busy in our house. But family meetings are a must. Everybody sit down, dog you too, sit. <laughs> now, this is how we're gonna do this. And this is how it's going to go down. Um, uh, B, you don't call Kim, you stay shading her. Me, as the leader of our family, the man in the family, I'm gonna deal with this man who thought that we were friends, but really, this was just a situation where I style stole his look. In the beginning of Kanye's career, he was way more creatively fashion forward, Norman, than Jay-Z ever You're right. was. <laughs> yeah. Jay-Z studied this man, plucked what he could, and left the rest as a carcass on the side of the turnpike. <laughs> but with that said, you know, I'm normally the one who looks out of my mind for saying things like that, so the madman has now taken control of the wheel, and we will see this car careen out of control for the next several weeks. You know, um, he was supposed to perform in L.A. last night, but he canceled that three hours before. Oh. This is what the venue looks like, okay? Oh. Okay, outside the venue. So now, you all buy your tickets, 
you work hard, you grab your squad of people, you know, you, you have your food, you're ready to go. You pull up to the venue and it says this? Are you still checking for Kanye? No. Do you give him a pass because his wife has just been robbed? No. Do you hate on Jay-Z because Jay and Beyonce allegedly haven't been in touch with these people since the robbery or anything? No. How about the Carter Knowles have only been seen with um, the, the West uh, Kardashians one time that we know of, and even then it was shady. Look, uh, receipts, please. Receipts, please. <laughs> Okay, Pee Wee Herman <laughs> looks very happy to be with his friend, but Kim already looks like, okay, this is not going to work out. She doesn't even look like she's trying to force a relationship. Like, Kim knows what it is. And Beyonce is playing uh, the Cupid doll that she always does. And this, is, they, they're, they're not a, a happy foursome, you all. And Kanye is about to tell us, he's about to take us down a trip on memory lane. And we here at Hot Topics <laughs> will be reporting every last <laughs> morsel. It's a good one, right? It's a good one, right? I'll tell you. The weekend, like, I really enjoyed it. We got snow and everything, but I so wanted to get back to you all because between that story busting wide open and Mark Anthony and his wife splitting up, and I, I told you all this wasn't gonna last. I, I mean, what wife lets her husband get so close to Jennifer Lopez? And even though this girl, and I, uh, 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 check it out, young girls, okay? You might be 20 years younger than a lot of us. <laughs> but girlfriends, let me tell you something. This little girl right here um, is divorcing him. Now, they've only been married for two years. The announcement came on Friday after our show aired, so I wasn't able to scream at you, <laughs> you know? But I was screaming in my head, okay? <laughs> The, it, this is the day after the announcement came, the day after Jennifer and Mark made a kiss at the Latin Grammy Awards. Oh. Not a kiss kiss, you know, it wasn't even romantic. Oh. All right, no, but let me analyze, let me analyze, okay. First of all, that was quick and it was corny. <laughs> Button, however, the hand on the face, you don't let anyone, no one touch your face for a kiss unless that person matters to you the most. Yeah. Right? And then, even if they have children together, why not kiss him on the cheek? Listen, I watch a lot of uh, uh, telenovela, even though I can't understand. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes just the motions, the actions and stuff. I can imagine when Mark got home, everything was breaking in the house. <laughs> You know, with the words, Mon Dieu! Da ra! Ra, ra, ra! Everything just breaking. Um, sorry, young lady, I know that you're only 24 and you probably thought you had nothing over on a woman twice your age, but um, Jen is single and she's probably ready to mingle. And they do have two children together. It's a lot of trust that you have to put in your man, no matter who your man is. There's a lot of trust that we have to put in you all to go visit your other kids and make sure that you all don't have paws on your old baby's mother. This Jennifer Lopez, I love you, Jen, but you are just too much. I just, I, I I'm, I'm, nope. <laughs> yep. And I think, and I don't even think that Mark and Jennifer are gonna get back together right now. I think that they play with each other. I think they have drive-bys. I think all their new boyfriends and girlfriends need to understand this. But you know when Mark and Jennifer will get back together? When they're in their later 60s or early 70s. Because that's when things really go ee, 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 ee. <laughs> You know, and you really appreciate somebody with an AARP card. <laughs> and all that stuff. You know how it is. 
You know how it is, like, when you're hot when you're younger, and then when you get older, and then you really realize you want stability, and then you get back together. These two will get back together. It just won't be for the next 20 years. Yeah. Oh. Say, Suzanne, come on out. I was thinking about this this weekend, and I was waiting for you to be her. I was waiting for you. Oh, you're doing two in one? Oh, hi. Statue of Liberty yes. and Mannequin Challenge at one? Yes. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So, let's get our caller on the line. Suzanne, you know what I mean? What happened? The Jennifer Lopez yeah. divorce. Exactly. Hello? Uh, um, hello? Um, uh, Bessem? Uh in Maryland? How you doing? It's Wendy yes. and Suzanne. Hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Becca. You're today's How you contestant. Doing? How you doing? I'm very good. Good. You're today's contestant on Wendy's Giveaway USA. Bessem, you watch our show every day on WTTG, correct? Absolutely. Every single day. Perfect. <laughs> Suzanne, yeah. pull the lever and let's see where Bessem is going. Where are you? Have you ever been to Denver? No. All right, well, you're gonna love it, okay? Now okay, look. Okay, I'm sure I'm gonna love it. If you win, you'll be there for a week, number one. Oh, All that room oh service, please. <laughs> All right, here we go, Bassam. All right, Friday during Hot Topics, Wendy, 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 I told you Wendy, that... Uh, Wendy, Wendy, the video. What, uh, what do I do? Oh, oh. announcer. <laughs> go ahead, um, announcer. Thanks to our friends at Liberty Travel, we're flying you and a guest to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. You'll get a five-day, four-night stay at the Hyatt Regency Aurora Denver Conference Center. Plus, you'll enjoy some of the most spectacular scenery in America. All right. Very nice. All right. Bassam, look. Yes. You're going to have 15 seconds to guess correctly. I hate when I mess up at the top of the show because it, it, it sets my mind like, okay, I'm going to screw up. No, no, no. no. Whatever, I'm hard on myself. <laughs> Friday during Hot Topics, I told you that Adele was spotted, um, or spotted an unexpected visitor at a recent concert in Mexico. What was it? And so easy go. It was a bat. Of course. Yeah! You're gonna love Denver. It's wonderful and fabulous, and the food is terrific. Enjoy, Bessem. Thank, Thank, Thank you for watching our show. If you want to be a winner like Bessem, make sure you watch our show every day because we might be calling you next. We've got more great show for you today. <laughs> From the shoe, my girl and yours, Carla Hall is here. And Carla's going to cook up some delicious Thanksgiving recipes in the Wendy kitchen. But up next, my style squad is here to break down the fashion from last night's American Music Awards. So don't go far. Thanks. This is what we do. Woo! Plus, Wendy's Giveaway USA continues. More big giveaways to America's best getaways. Will you be the next to get away? Tomorrow on a new Wendy. I worked on the other day. I wasn't sure. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, joining us. <laughs> It's a dish about the red carpet hits and misses from last night's American Music Awards. The host of Bevelation, say hello to our girl and yours, Bevy Smith. Yes! Fashion expert, Lloyd Boston. And the very shady fashion stylist, Robert Verity. Robert, thank you. Thank you all. Okay, let's start with the hot list. Gigi Hadid. Lloyd? I think she slayed it. I mean, think about it. She arrived in this gorgeous Roberto Cavalli, Love. which I thought was so fresh, so kind of, you know, hippy dippy, sexy in a very earth girl kind of way. I love it. Yeah, clean and, and the easy. hair, too. Yeah, and you could see certain areas, but it was still tasteful. And I love the fact that it kind of floated on her body very much like that piano shawl butterfly lace. And then through the night, she wound up changing five more times. Five times in the night. And 
everything looked young, fresh, and modern, I felt. <laughs> Designers ranged from Versace to Julian McDonald. I mean, you know, she went from Space Age Galactic to I Jessica Rabbit. I, I loved, loved it all. everything except for the Julian McDonald short set because it looked, that bolero jacket was too big and too boxy. The shorts didn't really fit that well. Okay. See, the, 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 the right there at the crotch is not very sexy or appealing. In my opinion, but I thought all the other looks slayed. I especially love the Roberto Cavalli doily moment. Yes. It's, the, a, the it's hard one, to be sexy as in. a doily. Yeah. yeah. A doily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bed skirt. I mean, I just held my mother chase la change lace drapes this weekend. <laughs> it's, it's, that's what it looked like to me. Well, but pretty. I do love the bewitched hair. I, I do, do love that. Yeah. I do. Yeah. How do they keep it back like that? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Here's what I love about Gigi Hadid. I love her look. I don't love her to speak. I think that a lot... I, <laughs> I, th I think that there are people, models, and some people included, including Amber Rose and whatnot, love you, <laughs> but you, there, it was more mystical when you didn't speak. Yes. Just, just look great. Yes. Yeah. I Not a read. Give us that mannequin moment yes. that we're looking for from you. Okay, here. Lady Gaga, Bevy. Oh, I love Lady Gaga. I thought this was very chic and sexy, guys and dolls. It was like a throwback to a 1940s gangster, guys and dolls. This is Brandon Maxwell. Her poses, too. Yes, yeah. exactly. This She's... is Brandon Maxwell, her creative director, and I think that they are a match made in heaven. I thought she looked beautiful, ethereal, and chic and sharp. It was like Nolan Miller from Dynasty. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it's very hard, and this is a big accomplishment when you get a suit to look sexy. White is tough to wear, a suit is tough to wear. It's feminine, it's strong. I think it was great. And it's Joan Collins all day long, yeah, as you just mentioned, long. you know? Yeah. Joan did this so well back in the 80s, and I love the fact that Lady Gaga has evolved. No longer is she arriving in an egg, She's on a horse. No I, meat you know. suits. I, yeah. feel, I feel like um, a woman who, make, who wears a pantsuit on a red carpet is making a statement about her future. And also, don't forget, Wendy, she was a big part of the pantsuit nation, a.k.a. Hillary, and she's been saying, I'm still with her. So I think it was paying homage that, to Hillary. as well as letting go of the meat dress, as well as, you know, growing yeah. up, letting yeah. go yeah. of Taylor and moving yeah. up. Yeah. 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 So I liked it. All right. Now... I love Taraji P. Henson. Yes. But Robert might not have. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> okay. okay. This is a look that a lot of girls do when they're answering the door for delivery while they're getting ready to go to the party. Okay. And it's, and it's, the loving. It, yeah, and? It's between the look. So I think that, I think that she, she needed to amp it up and do something to make it feel Why? A little, I think it needs to be shorter. The shoe needs to be better. That twerk ponytail, that 36-inch horsehair ponytail needs to go. The shoe needs to be better. It's just not refined and tied up. It Here's doesn't feel I like thought it's that she wanted to go. I thought she wanted to be the total antithesis of what most people expect from her from a cookie point of view, right? So I think that she wanted to be very sexy, very low, very, like, you know, at ease. And I think she nailed that. Lord. It's a Celine shirt dress. Um, I think it could have been shorter. How much was that dress about? Oh, that's a gazillion dollars for a shirt. Like, like, uh, yeah. uh -huh. Thousands of dollars. She said she wanted to appear effortless and it looked like she put no effort into it. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's my thought. Okay. A sexy lace bra and a Celine shirt. It wasn't a shirt, like, from the big tall shop, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. She had on a string of diamonds, good makeup. Yeah, the ponytail could have been trimmed by, like, a foot. But you know what? <laughs> she, I thought she looked great. We always see her buttoned up. We know right. that she has body underneath. I thought she looked fantastic. I Only thing I wish... Only thing I wish, Taraji, is that you were to use some Visine <laughs> before walking the red carpet. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Because, girl. Okay. okay. Now, Tiana Taylor. Lloyd. Oh, this young lady is beautiful to me. I think she is strikingly gorgeous. Yeah, and, really you know, great. her body precedes her. We know her for her body. Uh -huh. And I love the fact that this dress is really painted on her in a very romantic way. It's good. Yeah, not too sexy. I mean, it's sexy in a good way. Yes. And I love the way it's dripping off of her body. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I, classic Jessica Rabbit. To it's very classic Jessica Rabbit. Who also, made this? Stephen Khalil, who I have no idea who that is, but obviously I think everyone's going to be wearing Stephen Khalil now because this looks gorgeous. I also like, as Lloyd said, the romantic look of this whole thing. I thought it looked a little kind of bar, you know, made from the 19... I mean, from the 1800s. Yeah, totally. So I thought, Moulin I guess, Rouge. Right? Moulin Rouge yeah. kind of thing. It was her, really sexy. I hated the eyebrows. Uh, no, I was about to say, her eyebrows and her hairline are everything. <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> really? But she looks no, like a fashion like sketch. It. It's a very fashion sketch in the yeah. face. Yeah, it's a little too much. It's a little well, she's too a much. Girl, Suzanne, so you know you're judging? Too much. 
No. Yeah. Harlem girls, we can get away with doing too much, honey. It's it just enough when we're Harlem girls. It's a little Jocelyn Ville didn't see in the eyebrow. It's a little... <laughs> Here's and I, I love her. I, I love her. I love Tiana Taylor. I loved everything. Here's what I wish she would have done. Nobody said anything. She could have used two tracks in the kitchen. <laughs> just to thicken it up. Right down here. Like, like two tracks in the kitchen. Yeah. For a finishing, that. that's it. <laughs> Heidi Klum, you are an icon, but you can't do everything, dear. Uh, 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 Debbie? Uh. Heidi Klum was serving gold finger. <laughs> um, I like it. You know, here's the thing. Heidi Klum never really looks awesome on the red carpet, really, if you oh. think about it. She doesn't. She doesn't. Oh. So, uh, to me, I'm looking to Heidi Klum to be kind of off-kilter and, you know, kind of eccentric. And I think she nailed that look then. She looks like she, she gave could you kick Heidi Klum. and she could stretch. You remember Mary Catherine Gallagher? I can, I'm 50 years old! I'm, and I can I'm kick and stretch. She looks like a solid gold dancer reunion costume. I mean, the, it's like, it's not right. And I hate to be ageist, because I'm old, too. She's my generation, but it looks... Yeah, she's, something she's wrong. wearing Walk Marais, and I think this kind of is looks... Is this expensive? Uh, very expensive, I'm sure, but it also Shh. feels like that office manager that gets dressed up for the holiday party. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, and all I, of a sudden, they're snazzy for the night. The yeah. manager. Well, yeah. the good no. thing is that she's Heidi Klum, and there's always today to redeem yourself, but you looked horrible last night. Now, <laughs> uh, let's move to Kiki Palmer, who... You know, I guess we're not working on that daytime talk show anymore, girl. Like, no, she's like, working another strip in this outfit. Like, like what? what I didn't get this at all. Oh, um, boy, she, she, rem she reminds me of Pam from Total. Totally! That's what he said. Yes, very Total I, from I the 90s. This was uh, spot on because she's a young girl. It's the AMAs. It's a silver chain metal. I'm like, go for it, girl. And she's got a great body, especially the jugs. I think she looked smashing in yeah. it. And I love that she paid homage to, a, like, a, a, um, the Bad Boy reunion tour. With the pink fur and the glasses and the whole the thing. The glasses were horrible, but the whole look was great. I loved it. But did you notice that all the girls, Gaga and Kiki, were very posy? There's a whole new thing happening on the red carpet where they're like, how do they pose? Yeah. They're like getting really like dramatic with them. Like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, what is it, a standoff? It's like Zoolander. I love right, it. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you know, I think she's trying so hard to let you know that she's grown up and, and to get out of those Disney too, years. Like the, I... the neck up, I'm just questioning, and the outfit from the neck down, it's like, I thought that this was supposed to be, I thought they were grooming you for America's Sweetheart. But she doesn't want that anymore. Okay. Now she's yeah. with Ryan Murphy. She's not America's Sweetheart anymore. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, <laughs> good luck, Kiki. And, <laughs> and thank you all for being here. For more information on our panelists, go to wendyshow.com, everybody. Hot Topic Sound Off is next. Welcome back. It's time for Hot Topic Sound Off. Are you, are you cold? Yes. Uh -huh. Alright, can you all sit down? <laughs> Hi, Wendy. I'm Clara. How are you doing? Okay, Clara, we're a half hour into... The show was almost over and you still have your coat on. I'm cold. I'm very cold. I'm, I'm from Dallas, so, uh -oh. you know, we're having that nice, crazy weather, but not oh, cold. I get and it. And I come here and it's cold. Uh-huh. Good thing I brought so a So what are you sounding off about? I want to sound off on J-Lo and Mark Anthony. Okay. Okay. Now, a few weeks ago, you talked about their Snapchats and they were very flirty. Okay. Now, I think this was the last straw for his wife. Now, in Spanish, we have a saying, donde hubo fuego, cenizas quedan, meaning that where there was fire, ashes remain. So, I agree with you. I think they're going to end up together later on in life. Later on in life, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. Come on over. Wendy. How you My doing? name is Emily. How are you doing? Hi, Emily. <laughs> Come on over. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, I'd like to sound off on the AMAs. Okay. I totally agree with all your choices. I thought Lady Gaga's dress or pantsuit was so fantastic, and the boobies looked real good. They were in place. Mm -hmm. um, I also really like Selena Gomez's dress. I thought it was really beautiful. I did, too. The color was I liked her speech her. also. I agree. She's was brave. Nice. It was nice to see her back again because yeah. she's been a little MIA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I also really liked um, Gigi Hadid. Yes, her dress fit her like a glove, and I just think she looked gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here, Emily. Um, up next, everybody, celebrity chef Carla Hall joins me in the Wendy Kitchen. Don't go far. like the ATL. Atlanta housewife Candy Barris is here. This tea is peach-y. Plus, 
This Black Friday, how you shopping? Save the headache and the money with five holiday shopping secrets. Wednesday on a new Wendy. <laughs> Thanksgiving is all about the food, and here with some delicious Thanksgiving recipes is co-host of The Chew and friend to our show, Carla Hall. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> it is so good to be here. All right, Shoe Cam. Oh, uh, Shoe Cam, Okay, what? come on. Come, give it to him, Carla. Give it to them. Okay, now, now come on over. I'm gonna be on you guys' show later on this week. Yes. Yes. And so, now what are we making today? I, I heard that you bought oyster mushrooms. I did. So we're making a cornbread dressing with oyster mushrooms, and we're doing a turkey pot pie over waffles. And I'm making these dishes. I've partnered with Aldi grocery stores because I want to show people and share with them tips and things for the holidays so, so that they know that the holidays can be stress-free and wonderful and beautiful. Yeah. And this is what it is. There's an Aldi right up the block from here. Yeah. I okay. love the store. All right, so now what are we doing? So, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna make this cornbread dressing and then I'm making it vegan because I want you to like your food. I am appreciating what you're doing because believe it or not, I'm going to get oyster mushrooms and chicken mushrooms this week at Italy down the street. See? To add into our stuffing. Right? There are these mushrooms that are made, everybody, and they're, they taste just like, and I don't know how they do it, chicken. And then another strain tastes just like oysters. I'm telling you guys, and it's then so nice. One more strain tastes just like lobster. I don't know how they do it, but they do. So I'm putting everything. It's a vegan cornbread. I have all of the mixed uh, mushrooms. And you guys, if you go into the store, these are the oyster mushrooms. And so this gets all mixed. And then I have some veggie stock that goes in there. I have a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And instead of the egg, which is a binder, I've used um, flaxseed, like a tablespoon of flaxseed ground. Now you left with... these mushrooms really big. Well, give it back. No, it's okay. No, 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 I, no, I don't mind that. Not we, anymore. We can find all these recipes <laughs> at wendyshow.com, right? Yes. Because I'll be following And then on a little bit of cream. Day. So that goes, I mean, not cream, I'm sorry, soy milk, soy milk. Okay, okay. Because it's all vegan. Okay. All right, so here, Wendy, I'm gonna mix that up. I want you to have some. Okay. And so I mix this all up, you guys, and then it goes into a prepared dish, and then that gets baked. So I want you to see it. What do you think, Wendy? Well. You don't like it? She don't like it. We could use a toaster oven around here. Oh, because it's cold. I mean, well, Wendy, it's cold. That's, but, you know. No, it's very good. You know what? This is very good. You know what? And you can put whatever seasonings you want in there. This has the proper savory and sweet. This is really, really good. I'm gonna follow this recipe myself. She was too late in telling me. No. Okay. No. Yeah. I'm following this because I already knew when I saw the ingredients. I was like, really? She's making what I'm making well, on that's Thursday what for exactly. Thanksgiving. And so you can use bread, you can use, um, you can use cornbread or whatever. So here, I'm going to make the turkey pot pie filling. And so I'm going to do my roux. I have all of my vegetables. I've poached my turkey in the stock. I have peas, and I'm going to just build my roux. If we and... got some hot sauce. Oh, wait, we got some hot sauce? Where is it? Here. Mm. Girl, get it in there. I got you. I got you. All right, so guys, here, all you need to do for this roux, you put your butter in here. It's cold, too. I know. It's cold in the studio. I know. You add in some butter, and this and this just gets mixed here. You make your roux. Who are you making um, dinner for on Thursday? I am making dinner for, uh, well, actually, I'm at my sister's house. So Matthew and my sister, my mom, everybody's in town, my niece and nephews. Your stepson? My stepson will He's probably be there. Now, right? He's 21 He's Is a he bringing a girl? At university. Oh, he has a wonderful girlfriend named Bria. Do you like her? I love her. Uh -huh. She's so nice. Mm -hmm. She's really, really nice. He's been with her since freshman year. Uh-oh. I know. Marriage. It's a long time. Really? You think they know that soon? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> She's still eating the stuffing, yay! All right, you guys, so I put in the stock. I put in the stock. I add a little bit of cream. This one isn't vegan. I add the cream in, and now I just add everything else. No. What's that? The corn. Yes. Really sets it off. Because just it gives the you a little pop. Of sweet. You know what? It gives you a little bit of pop. And the thing is, this is easy. So do you like, would you eat it? I'm on this quest, honestly, to make you food that I feel like you would like. Um, I would eat this. I'm making this. <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, I'm gathering on Thanksgiving. I'm, so I've gathered a recipe now from you. Yeah. And I'll gather a little something from the store already made. Yes, yes. And I'll gather other stuff. 
Yeah, and foraging, foraging. Week, well, it'll be done. I mean, Thanksgiving is about giving thanks. Well, that's it. It's really, it's really less about the food. It's more about family and everything. Yeah, but a lot of people make a big deal over the food. Okay, so here I have my corn waffles. They're over there. I'm doing this a different sort of presentation with this, and you know. And so, so, is this breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or what? what, what? It's kind of dinner brunchy. You know, it's a brunchy thing. It's like it's like kind of like the the shrimp and or chicken and waffles and everything, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's just a different presentation. You don't have to worry about actually making the the crust. So you have you have your corn waffle. You make the filling. This They're is Swedish. Sweet sweetish. Sweetish. Mm -hmm. Not really. Mm -hmm. It's because it's no. Oh. It's not. It's not sweet. Not mm -hmm. Swedish either. <laughs> so I mean, right? So you can make this for with your leftovers, and the next day, because you've done all that cooking the day of, so the next day. Got it. You know, see? And then you that, right? All right. And then a little bit of this. Thanksgiving Day, day after yeah. Thanksgiving. Carla Hall. For more information on these recipes, do like I'm gonna do and go to wendyshow.com and make sure you check out the two. Weekdays on ABC Pop Quiz is next. You want juicy hot topics, my fun of the after show and all the celebrity interviews? Just watch and subscribe now on my YouTube channel. Are you tubing? From White House Station, New Jersey, it's time to play pop quiz. How you doing, man? How you doing, Susan? Good. Okay, look, the a AMAs won last night. Who holds the record for winning the most AMA awards? Whitney Houston, Taylor Swift, or Michael Jackson? Go! Oh, boy, that's a hard one. They're all so popular. But I'm going to, um, I think, Taylor Swift. No, it was oh. Michael Jackson, but it's okay. Oh, Everybody's a winner on Wendy show. Yes, oh, Brush set and makeup palette. Thank you for being here, Susan. We'll be right back. Yes! Where are you from? From Jersey. I mean, no, no. Derry Luce Zarilla is from Passaic, New Jersey, and you're my eye candy. So simple, so sweet. How are you doing? Talk about your outfit. Okay, so I actually have a really cheap outfit on. This was only $30 for my leather jacket. Okay. My, my sweater was only 20 bucks. My jeans were 30. My shoes were 100 on sale from Coach. And, and your diva fan is free. Here you go. We'll be right back. Thank you. Good to see you guys again. Carla Hall, I love you. And yes, I am doing that recipe for Thanksgiving. My co-host, my studio audience, one of a kind. Thank you. Tomorrow, Caitlin Becker joins us with the inside scoop, and I've got you with the hottest accessories of the winter. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye. Nice.